Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is, as you mentioned before, my name is Stephen Morrison. It's Pastor Mama and Brother Lennon. Uh, all the way from uh, Mungangaragu Baptist, Independent Baptist Church in Kalgoorlie, Western Australia. Um, and uh, I guess I will leave the rest of laughter. But if you get your Bibles, can we turn to uh, um, Matthew 16, 13 to, to 17? Uh, it's, it's a, just, uh, sorry, before we go, I want to thank Pastor Bramlett and the Fellowship Baptist Church for having us over here. It's, it's a blessing, it's a good, uh, the, the opportunity to come and preach and to, and to, uh, to share, share with you and be around you and meet you. And uh, you know, we've been to, may have been to Brisbane a few times, but I haven't really got the opportunity to walk, go around and, and, and meet people and, and, uh, and, and, and see, see a lot more of Brisbane other than the, the conference and the hotel and, and the airport. So, <laughs> yeah. so uh, Matthew 16 Verse 13 to 17. <clears throat> uh, Matthew 16, 13 to 17. And the Bible says, uh, When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, uh, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, Elias, and others, uh, sorry, and, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon by Jonah, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for, for your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that your word is, is, the, is, the, is, is the truth, Lord. And it's... Uh, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that it's, it's, it's really available to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that it's, it's, uh, that it's quick and it's sharp and it's powerful, Lord. Lord we just uh, pray for today, Lord, that, uh, again, we don't know, I don't know where, where we all stand with God. And, and I pray that you use your word today. I pray you give me clarity in, in, in preaching and, and expounding it, Lord, and saying, Lord, we pray for your blessing, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So again, here, this, uh, first of all, uh, as we go through um, on, on, on verse uh, 13 and 16, the question is asked by, uh, by our Saviour, our Lord, in this particular, in this, this part of the, the Bible, he's explaining, he, in, in um, 13 says, but, uh, so he's asking his disciples, uh, who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And here, um, I guess you, ask, you, you can ask anybody, you know? and everybody, depending on who you ask, everyone will have their own opinion about who, who God is, I mean, about who Jesus is. And some hate him, and some love him, uh, some try to, try to make Jesus fit their religion, Try to make Jesus fit what they want to do. So again, that's, that's their view on, on who Jesus is. Some say he's just a, he's just a good teacher. Some, some use his name as a, as a curse word, a swear word. Huh? Um, <coughs> you ask some of my family at home, they'll say, they'll say he's a troublemaker. I'll say, no, don't, don't trust him, you shouldn't be following him. But again, so people got their, their different, uh, diff, different views. By the end of the day, it doesn't matter who you are. And if you, you, you heard about Jesus, you've got to form, form your opinion about him. Right? And, and whether, whether you're thinking about it or not, you will, have a, you will, you will form an opinion about who, who Jesus is. And here, uh, he's, he's asking, he puts a question out to his, says, who, 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 uh, as in, in general, to, to everybody, as this question says, uh, whom do you say that I, the Son of Man, am? <coughs> and I guess that before, we, uh, before we go any further, that's, I guess that's, that's a question each and every one of us has to answer. And, the, and the, the answer to that question can determine whether it's eternity in heaven with him or eternity in hell. Huh? And it's important, it's really important that we get this, we, we get this question right. Huh? We know, and we, we've settled it in, in, in our lives, in our heart, that, 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 uh, that, uh, that, we, that we have the, the right answer to this question. In, in verse 14, it, it goes on to explain, uh, so the, the men reply, and they say, oh, and, and, and their, their reply was, you know, some say that they are John the Baptist, some are liars. In, um, uh, if we can turn from there to Malachi chapter uh, 4, verse 5 and 6. Let's, uh, Malachi uh, chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. And I'll just read something. Read a scripture from the Old Testament. Uh, Malachi chapter 4, verse 5 and 6. It says, Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, uh, before the great day, uh, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the hearts of the children to the fathers, lest they come and smite the earth with a curse. So again, uh, he asked the men, they said, okay, well, this must be, uh, this must be John the Baptist or, or, or Elijah. 
and it, it, referring back to the Old Testament. And if we can just keep that thought and, and turn to uh, Luke chapter 1. Luke chapter 1, uh, verses 13 and 17. And it says in, in Luke chapter 1, 13 and 17, it says, But the angel uh, said unto him, Fear not, Zacharias, for thy prayer is heard, and thy wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son, and they shall call his, call his name John. And verse 17 says, And he shall, and he shall go before him in the spirit and the power of Elias, Elijah, Elijah, sorry, and turn the hearts of the fathers to the children, and the disobedient of the, of the wisdom... Uh, and the disobedient to the to the wisdom of the just to make ready the people prepared for the Lord. So here we've got here John the Baptist, and there's a description of John the Baptist and, and, and how how he's come. So he, 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 when they, when they uh, when the people says, "Oh, this must be John the Baptist or Elijah," so already there there it wasn't wasn't uh, wasn't spot on, you know. It was kind of it's, it's in general, it's, it's it wasn't spot on. Um, in in, uh, in 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 the same after John the Baptist, that there's explaining as some say Jeremiah's, and we see here. Um, in, 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 see, in, in, in the, when you think about Jeremiah, he's known as, as a weeping prophet. Huh? And, and, um, and again, in, in 11, John 11, 35, we you know that verse, and you know, Jesus wept. And we see how through the, through, through the Bible, Jesus, you know, his heart breaks and, and he's weeping and he's, he's feeling sorrow and, 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 uh, for those who are, with, who are without him. Huh? And, and it gets you know, him known perfectly, the, the, the destination for those who, who reject Christ. Uh, and, and, and know what, uh, where they will be in, in that time. So again, our, our, our Saviour had that, that, that heart and he, he wept just like, and he was upset at times. Um, in this case, when Jesus wept, he, he wept over uh, his, uh, his mate Lazarus. Um, and again, uh, the, first, the, 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 um, the last one says, uh, or one of the prophets, prophets, and he explained just, just a prophet who had come to proclaim the word of God. So again, they're explaining here about who, who they think Jesus is. And, and God explained, he pulls it out and says, oh, this person thinks this and this person thinks that. In, um, and, uh, in, in Luke chapter 7, if we can turn to there, verse 34, we're going to look at a few other, few other bits in the Bible, what people had to say about Jesus. You know? In Luke, Luke uh, chapter 7, verse 34, sorry, not 35. Uh, Luke chapter 7, verse 34. And it says here, the Son of Man... Is come eating and drinking, and you say, uh, "Behold, a, a gluttonous man and a wine bibber, a, so, uh, a friend of publicans and sinners." So again, this is this is. I, I want to. We want to praise the Lord that Jesus, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, He is our friend, you know. And if you ever, if if He's the only friend you've got, I tell you, you've got the best friend you can ever find. You know? He explains it. He, he's a he's a, he's a, he's a friend um, of, of the of the publicans and of sinners. I know my Savior was my friend before I met Him. You know? Mm. You know? And uh, praise the Lord, he still is my friend. He, he, he cares for us, he loves us, and he's, doing, he's, going to do, he's done everything he can in order for us to be with him. So again, we praise the Lord. This is another thing that, that, um, that someone else has said about, uh, <coughs> about, uh, about Jesus Christ. In Matthew 15, <coughs> Matthew 15, 39, if we can go just over, skip over to that. Matthew 15, 39. No, sorry, Mark 15.39, sorry. Uh, let's see, Mark 15.39. And Mark... <coughs> and Mark 15.39, again, this is the count, this, this, is, this is a centurion, and, and the Bible says here, and when the centurion, which stood over against him, saw that he had cried out, and, uh, and gave up the ghost. He said, truly, this man was the son of God. I like here, we, 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 you, see, you get the view from the centurion. You see, unlike the, uh, uh, the, the other generals and, and, the, and those who are uh, off, uh, far off in, 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 a, in a room and, and plotting, the, plotting the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the plans of attack for, for war and so on, the, 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 the centurion was on the ground. You know? He was the one actually leading, leading the battle, was the one who... Who, when the rub hits the road, he, he was there. He was the one leading the, the hundred men into the battle and would, would lead it. So he, in, in his view and his job and in his uh, in what he would done, you know, he'd see the, the, the he would have a more better understanding about how, how men were. You know? 
how they reacted to certain things. And, 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 uh, and yes, and here, when he, when he came to this point, he said, um, um, <coughs> this is just where uh, uh, Jesus gave up the ghost, and he would have saw, he would have saw the crucifixion come up to the leading up to that, and how, how our Savior responded. Huh? He, he responded, uh, he was, um, uh, he, he didn't, he, he, he had responded in the way that he did, and, and uh, he went from uh, getting, getting flogged and uh, the thorn of crowns on his head and, and being shamed and, and uh, being beaten. He would have seen it all along, bang, bang, to the point carried his cross, uh, so far to, the, to, uh, to, to being crucified up, and then he explained, Look, Lord, forgive them, I don't know what they do. So he would have saw all this. And in that conclusion, he said, okay, truly, this man is the son of God. Huh? That's the conclusion he, he came up with. And again, as you, as you do this, I, um, as, as I look back in, uh, in my life, you know, I've seen the hand of God and, and, and that God has brought me through certain times in our families. And, and, and I remember as a little, little kid, uh, we were on the road to um, up, up north and we were travelling. We we'd, uh, we'd almost had no fuel. I remember only as a little father. And mum says, okay, that's all. Now, now what we need to do is we need to pray, you know. And mum explained, we have no fuel. I don't know how far the next stop is. But again, we came through that. And not, not really thinking about it until later on in life. I'm thinking, oh, or, or my mind's go back to, to a situation like that. I'm thinking, oh, well, this is, this is God, you know. I've seen God in this. And truly, this is just like the centurion come to the, come to the point and say, yeah, this, this is God. This is the Son of God. This is, this is the one who's, who's, who's brought us through. Um, and, and from there, <clears throat> if we go back to Mark 16, verse 15, to our, to our main verse, well, that's what, Oh, sorry, uh, Matthew, sorry, Matthew 16, verse 15. Back to our, our, our main reading. And verse, uh, verse 14 says, And they say, some say, uh, some say that thou art John the Baptist, Elias, and, some, and, and others Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. And 15, uh, he says say unto them, But whom say ye that I am? So again, so God puts that question out in general. says, Who do men say that I am? And he brings it home. To a, to a specific, to a personal, you know, who, who do you know? Who, 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 but who do you uh, say that I am? It brings the, name, it brings the question home to each one. Uh, of, uh, each and, every, oh, sorry, and it's a question that each and every one of us uh, has, has to answer. Again, the world, the people, have got, you ask anybody, they've got their, their, own, their own view and their own, uh, they've made up their mind about who Jesus is. But who they say, uh, who, who, that, who this person, who that person says about Jesus is, is, is good for them. You know, but, but for you personally, who do you say Jesus is? Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, before, uh, before I saved, and I mentioned before, it's, it's, uh, it's quite a few of my family that don't like Jesus. You know? I say, oh, he's, he's it's no good. You know, he's, a, he's a white man's God, and, and you've got no, you as a black fellow, you're an average person, you've got no business following him. Huh? But that's their view. But then I've got some other family members who say, yeah, you know, I've, I've trusted Jesus Christ as my saviour. Huh? And that's their view. But uh, for me personally, I've got to come up to I've got to come to the view and, and, and make that answer that question personally to myself uh, at, at, in myself, and it goes and explain here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The a uh, couple of months ago, I went to um, uh, my pop's funeral. Uh, my nana's one of my nana's brothers' funeral, and he was a Christian man. He saved. He, he trusted Jesus Christ as his savior before he went. And I'm sitting there. Uh, I brought my family along, and I'm sitting there with, with my children, and I'm showing my children. I say, you know this person? Yeah, that's such and such. And I explain to the, who's who in the family, in the family line, the structure. And I was asking him, who's this? What's her name? What's his name? What's his name? And so on. And my my, my older son, he goes, oh, I know, I know her. She's this, and she's that, she's that. And I said, oh, that's good. And and we we'll, we'll, <coughs> a bit tight, a bit late on that track. And I ask him, okay, well, do you remember who these people are? He goes, yeah. And I ask him, well, who who are they to you? Yeah. Where do, they, where do they fit in in the line? So I say, with well, this person, how does this person relate to you? Yeah? Some of the questions he got right, he said, oh, I know her, that's my auntie, you know? And I said, oh, this other, other person, I don't know who that is, you know? I said, well, you need to know because that's your nana. You know? that's your... I was explaining the, the different structure and lines with the family and, and how we all fit in together. You know? Some questions he got right, some questions he didn't. You know? um, I was explaining, I said, you, this, is something, you, this is something really important, you, you need to know. I said, because if you, you buy any, <laughs> buy any, any time you call this person by the first name, your nana or your auntie, so you're going to be in trouble, you know? He's saying, and uh, and uh, they're, they're, he's, he's got some nieces and nephews which are the same age as him, you know? And, and he's saying, oh, that's my cousin. So no, that's not your cousin, that's your nephew, you know? And he explains certain songs. So I guess some, some, were, some were right, some are wrong, you know? And I explain, so it's important for you to know who they are, where they fit in, 
Yeah, so if you do, you do praise the Lord, you, you, you know, but if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. So I'm just trying to warn him about uh, be care, being careful for that. In, um, in, 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 in Matthew 16, 16, uh, sorry, when, when God, when God uh, gives, a, gives a question, it says, but who, who you say, who say you that I am? It's verse 16 says, and Simon Peter answered and said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Uh, I guess you see here, in this point, in that example, you know, a lot of people know about Jesus. They've heard about him either through Sunday school or a funeral or maybe, uh, you know, uh, somewhere along the lines, they would have heard about Jesus. But the question is not, not whether you heard about him, it's whether you know him. Huh? That's right. uh, and you can, you, can, you, can, you can know everything about him, but if you don't know him, uh, you, you've missed the mark, huh? you've missed the point. Uh, whether, you, whether you know him or not, is it, a difference, as I mentioned before, be, between spending eternity with him and, and enjoying the blessings of, of, of God and, on, on earth and, 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 and later on in heaven. And, and uh, then unfortunately, like the rich man, waking up in hell and realizing, no, there's no way, no way you can come back to, to answer that question again. <laughs> Simon, 2 Corinthians 11, verse 3 and 4. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 3 and 4. Explains here. It says, But I fear, lest by any means, as a servant, beguiled Eve, Eve through subtlety, Subtlety, sorry. Uh, so your mind should be corrupted for the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or you received another spirit whom you have not received, or another gospel where you have not accepted, you might uh, bear him well. And here is, is an account in, in, in the Bible of, the, of another Jesus, you know? And people go around, they, they preach to you another Jesus. You know? And you've got to be really careful that you make sure you know it's the right Jesus. You, you, you want to, uh, uh, sorry, you. You need to make sure you're trusting in the right Jesus. Huh? Mm. It's um, you know, people go up and say, "Okay, well, uh, now you can, uh, you can, you can, you can trust Jesus as as well as promise to God you're going to live a good life." You know, huh? and you can't do that. Huh? You see, when when Jesus died on on the cross, he, he, he the Bible explains that it's it's a free gift for us. Yeah? Uh, my uh, I mentioned some of the men last night that you see my my son's coming up and I'm sorry, my son's birthday's coming up and. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna get him a gift, huh? Uh, he, 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 my wife and I, you know, I work. My wife gets money. We go. To, we're gonna go out and we're gonna pick the gift for him. We're gonna wrap it up. We're gonna put his name on it, and we're gonna give it to him. And uh, and uh, he's, all he has to do is he's just gotta receive that gift, huh? And then uh, and just like uh, it's, it's just like salvation, you see, God, there's nothing we nothing we can do anyway. I mean, sorry. There's there's um, times where you know it's see God, he, he's he's left heaven. Well, we, Talks about how he's you know, born of a virgin. He, he lived lived a sinless life. You know? he, he he died for our sins. He went through the crucifixion. Uh, he, he died three days later. God rose him from the dead. Dale done all this stuff so he can give that to us as a, as a, as a, as a gift. You know? Gift, and all we can do is receive. We can't work, we can't work for it. We can't earn it. We can't buy it. We can't you can't uh, make a deal with God. Say, Lord God, I'll, I'll, I'm going to accept this free gift of salvation. But I'm going to have I'm going to promise you, God, that I'm going to live uh, the rest of my life. Uh, as a good person, uh, you know, you, you can't make it's either it's either that or or nothing. Huh? If you if you're trusting uh, the finished work of cross of of, of finished work of the cross, ninety percent, ninety five percent, and good works five percent, it's going to be those five percent that sends you to hell. You know? huh? So he's got to totally trust Jesus. The, the work on the cross has been done. It's been finished. You know, and we've got to trust on what he has done. To believe on that, uh, trust on that. You know? And again, when you think about it, there's nothing we can do. There's no one, no one. Uh, there's no one good, the Bible explains, there's no one righteous, no, not one. Huh? There's nobody, nobody can stand before God and say, Lord, because of the good works I've done, because of my, my good Christian heritage, because, of, because I go to church, because I do these good things for you, Lord, that I'm, that's good enough for me to enter heaven. No, nah, it's, it, it's not. Huh? But praise the Lord, God has made a way for us. Huh? And it's important, and it's really important, it's, that we know, without a doubt, that we trust in, trust in Jesus Christ. And um, as... Uh, as God explained in John 14 and 6, he that uh, Jesus says unto him, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto me, uh, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Someone said to me before that, uh, he said, oh yeah, um, well, uh, all roads lead to Rome, you know. And I said, well, I don't want to go to Rome, <laughs> so I want to go to heaven, you know. <laughs> so if I go to heaven, there's only one way, eh? it's through the Lord Jesus Christ. Right? Uh, so again here, uh, we've got to be really careful. Uh, um, and praise the Lord, you know, we, we do good things and, and, and 
we, we, we demonstrate that, but in order for salvation, it's just simply believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, and, and, uh, and I'll just leave you that with, with one, one other verse, John 10, 36. And again, it says, He that believeth on the Son has the everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. As we leave with that last verse, I, wanna, I really want to uh, ask you today, do you know Jesus Christ as your Savior? Do you know him personally? You, know? you may have heard of him. Uh, I got saved when I was 19 years old. I knew about God since I was a kid, you know. I used to go to, mum used to take us every now and then to, to Sunday school and would go to uh, you know, Easter, Easter service and Christmas and, and uh, sometimes if we're, if we're in another town and, and there's a convention on, mum would say, okay, let's, let's go to here. So I've known, about, I've known about God all that time. But it wasn't until I was 19 years old that I've trusted Jesus Christ personally as my saviour. You know? So I want to encourage you. To, and and uh, where you are now, you might know about, know of God, might have heard about him, but if you don't, uh, so, and, and we want to make sure today that you really know him personally as your saviour. Uh, we, we can show you from the word of God how to be saved. And we've got people around here, pastor, um, and, and he can, can really get beside you and show you directly how to, to, to know without a doubt that you are saved. You know? And explain to you uh, your, your position there. Again, we want to uh, thank you for the pastor. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Mm. We'll, we'll take some time mm -hmm. for, for morning tea. Mm -hmm.